The utilization of wheeled armored personnel carriers in global military conflicts has revealed their vulnerability to portable anti-tank guided weaponry. Armored personnel carriers with relatively weak armor protection have proven to be easy targets for anti-tank missiles or precisely aimed artillery guns. Consequently, the next generation of armored personnel carriers should possess armor protection comparable to that of main battle tanks, enhancing their chances of survival on the battlefield. Such research efforts were independently undertaken by both Russian and Israeli designers. Both groups opted for a foundation based on the outdated T-55 medium tank, which is no longer suited for equitable combat against modern main battle tanks. By discarding the T-55's turret and main gun, the medium tank was retrofitted with added armor, enabling the BTRT to operate alongside main battle tanks. Although the heavy APC lacks amphibious capabilities, it can traverse shallow water obstacles with preparation and specialized equipment. The BTRT heavy armored personnel carrier positions its engine compartment at the rear of the hull, with the front and middle sections of the T-55 repurposed for driving and combat compartments. The driver's seat is situated on the left side of the hull. Adjacent to the driver, a new, low-profile turret features the main armament. The BTRT accommodates five fully equipped troops who enter or exit via roof hatches. Regrettably, this design choice may result in casualties during combat. Differing from the base T-55 medium tank, the BTRT boasts a fully enclosed hull. This distinction arises primarily from built-in explosive reactive armor panels and supplementary anti-mine protection. When positioned within a 30 degrees traverse range, the armored personnel carrier's armor protection is equivalent to 600 mm. Hull sides and chassis components are shielded with steel anti-cumulative screens. The BTRT employs a modular armament system centered around a low-profile turret with 360-degree rotation capability. Various interchangeable armament configurations can be mounted on this turret. The initial publicly showcased variant in 1997 featured a 30mm cannon and a Conkers, at, 5 spandrel, anti-tank guided missile launcher. Subsequent armament configurations were developed for the BTRT, as numbered in the accompanying illustration 30mm cannon and AGS 17-30mm automatic grenade launcher. Twin barrel 30mm cannons. 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun and twin tube conkers, at, 5 spandrel, ATGW. 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun and AGS 1730mm automatic grenade launcher. All armament configurations enable engagement of lightly armored ground and air targets, as well as heavily armored adversaries. However, occupants lack the ability to employ personal firearms from within the hull, a departure from the traditional approach seen in Soviet-slash-Russian armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. On the positive side, this feature contributes to enhanced hull armor protection. The vehicle is also equipped with smoke grenade launchers positioned at the rear of the hull. In the transformation from the T-55 medium tank to the BTRT, the transmission and chassis remained unchanged. The vehicle attains a maximum road speed of 50 km per hour and can ford 1.4 meters deep water obstacles without prior preparation. With specialized equipment, it can navigate water obstacles up to 5 meters deep by moving on submerged tracks. The BTRT is furnished with NBC protection equipment, radio communication, internal communication devices, and automatic fire suppression systems. 